Hi guys, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf, and we are with John Ship. Now, we are talking about getting more range of motion on your backswing. You know, so many of you struggle with uh, making fluid golf swings, and you're getting in your own way a lot of the time, and it's something that we try and uh, teach you, at least technique-wise, thought-wise, of how to feel a more of a strain-free golf swing. And what we're talking about today is giving you more range in your backswing. And what that's going to do is give you more timing, more consistency, more power, but less strain on your body. So you might be going to lessons with your local pro, um, trying to get you into these certain backswing positions. And no matter how hard you try, you just can't do it because your body isn't able to do it really right yeah, so no matter how determined you are if you're if you have physical restrictions it's going to make life so much harder for yourself and that's what you see all the time right yeah um from grass level low level or high handicap to pro golfers i haven't had a golfer who said to me i'm happy with the way i turn yeah they've all said i want to get better range and feel more comfortable in my backswing okay. so that is probably the number one thing that most people come in all right so you've got a couple of drills for us to do at home or before on the range wherever just to sort of prep and get more range in the backswing definitely and it all, all can be done with the club this is a great thing it okay. can all be done with the club so yeah we're going to focus on creating the range through here to make it easier for the golfer all right um, so whenever we do backswing again right palm open yeah palm down Okay. And we always take the first simple movement in the backswing, which would be that one. So that would be our, what I call a test to see if it improves and gets better. Okay. So we're just going to change the, the width of our stance. So right. you would find a normal position. Again, just trying to get a smooth movement. So the club's going back. And then all we're going to do is do like three or four. So it just gets that moving. And then you do it with your feet really, really close together. So this is really takes up all yeah. the range of the hip. And as you can see, makes it a lot harder to rotate. So we're tweaking this in a, in a just in a width of what we call okay. like what we call a frontal plane, which is just means side to side, yeah. basically. And then you just go a little bit wider. So exactly the same movement. Like this? Yep. and then go back to really close again. So we do three or four, and then we change the position. And now hopefully that feels a little bit easier again. Yeah. Yeah, and then go back to leg shoulder width. And again, Short, like regular yeah, width. regular position. And that should feel really easy again. Yeah, quite dramatically. So we're teaching the body, the constant so is teaching So you kind of go to it. that sequence a, a couple of times, basically. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, so now we really want to give you loads and loads and loads of range. So the way we do that is to get this part of the body or the, the pelvis rotating big into this hip. Okay. Okay, so again, constant is the rotation. Yeah. So we're going to step and rotate and just get a smooth movement at the top. We want to step and rotate, turn the foot in if you can, so, and um, then come back. I'm going to point this way just for them. So you had your foot back there a little bit? Yes, just a little bit. So then I'm in this position and I'm just stepping there. Uh, I'd come a little bit further out in front. So you okay. can, I get um, people to use cones or golf balls just and just like, aim for a target. Okay. And then I, ideally we want it, so you're doing really, really well, the foot's staying nice and still, it's not spinning. So yeah. if people find it's spinning, it means they haven't got the range in the foot or the can, hip. Can they turn it out a bit to give them a little yeah. bit of... They okay. can either turn it out or turn in less, whatever they okay. would like to do. So now we're teaching this hip to take the rotation of this part of yeah. the body of the pelvis coming through. So now we're going to make it really, really difficult. Okay, I like so that. So we go foot turned in. Yeah. So this is quite an advanced one. Yeah. And then exactly the same. So this is taking up all your range. Hip's going to snap off. So now you feel the hip really working really, really hard. So again, we're going to make it really, really easy. Turn the foot out. Okay. So we're tweak, tweaking this in what we call the, the transverse, which basically just means rotation. That's all it means. And then if you go back to foot straight. Straight, like regular. Exactly the same. And that should feel nice and easy again. So take something that's the norm. Yeah. Tweak it, make it really, really hard. Make it really, really easy. 
go back to the normal position and the body goes, I know this, I can do it. Yeah, and it should okay. feel so a lot how, easier. So how often should someone do that? Um, all depends on really how, how, how much they're playing golf. Um, I try and get um, club golfers to try and do that two, three times a week. Okay. Um, I mean, it takes a couple of minutes, doesn't it? Yeah. So two, three times a week, either before you hit or after you hit, before you go to the club. Um, is it something you could advise just doing when you're waiting to hit your tee shot or something on the course? Could do some, some people out when they find that they've got a bad shot with the programs that we design for them. Um, we say, right, when you hit a bad shot, pick one move that gets you back in the position while you're waiting to hit a shot. Yeah. yeah. So if you know you haven't quite got in your backswing, normally we test which, because I've got multiple exercises for backswing, we test which one gets them Works the best. to work the best and say, right, if you've got a minute and you feel comfortable doing it, while you're waiting, just so a lot of what you're, you're telling us to do is accentuating, exaggerating almost the feeling that we want to try and tip the balance. So it's, it's almost like when you, you probably know it as you're trying to make a swing change. Let's say uh, you, you're trying to become a bit more shallow, right? Let's just use that as an example. You might, the first you know, 50 balls that they, they do it, they, they, they're feeling like they're like this. Yeah. But in reality, they've moved maybe an inch yeah. type of thing. So is that the kind of same uh, you know, philosophy that we're looking at with prepping the body like this? Definitely. It's, it's making something really really easy yeah. make it work really really hard and then take it back to so it becomes feeling well, I mean, that, that just feels really nice it feels like i'm opening myself up it feels like i can now just make sense to me that i can get behind the ball and, and you know that's how i discovered john's stuff is because i saw it and it makes sense especially what we're trying to do and i know what a lot of you are struggling with so get some more freedom in your backswing try that move a couple of times a week and let us know just how you get on. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get some real distance and some great simple lessons, just go to theartofsimplegolf.com slash free. And uh, if you have any questions for John, just send them our way and we'll pass you over to him. Thanks.